and Ken now joins us this morning with what we can expect from this season. Good morning. Good morning, Trina, and thank you for having me. And I hope that all of your viewers and everybody out there, you're safe and well. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's still new here, and I think we all need a new chance and a way to connect because the new season has been uh, reimagined for a reason with taking all of our hardships that we're all collectively experiencing um, together and, you know, giving people what they need right now. We mm -hmm. collectively at the symphony, we, you know, want for the musicians to be able to connect and, and do their duty and really give people some hope and some peaceful moments. Now, Ken, some good news here is that the virtual performances will be taped inside a brand new music hall. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, for us to have been working on this with, of course, not just the orchestra, but the city, uh, collectively, the entire community, the orchestra has been waiting for this moment. And even though it's a little subdued, perhaps now, I think we're building a big crescendo to open it up for everybody. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity for everybody to come in and stream and see what it's like for us to kind of spread the wings in this new hall, which we hope everybody will be able to experience. The season will be virtual, but mm -hmm. it will have 16 concerts, 12 classical concerts and four pops concerts with a huge range of both living composers as well as programs that range from Bach to Mozart to Beethoven, some familiar names, and we'll be in conversation with a lot of special guests and these composers as well. Well, the building is frankly stunning. Um, do you have yeah. an update of when it will be open exactly? So, yes, we we have moved in last week. Okay. So uh, we are slowly putting everything into place so that at least virtually everybody can take part in us making the first sounds and uh, they'll be able to see that. We'll share that with the community, uh, how we are getting in there. and. Every time we walk in there uh, now, it's just a wow moment. You know, we discover new things. And of course, we want to share all of these special times with all of our viewers and with our patrons. So it's a stunning space. We can say it will be one of the great concert halls in North America. And of course, we don't want to keep everybody waiting for, you know, as long as we would have had to now, uh, we want to just make music for them and make sure that everybody gets what it is that will fulfill them and give them new hope. Now, I know we're running short on time, but I wanted to ask really quickly what the programming process has been like. Well, the programming was really about us making sure that we take all of this experience we're taking in and all of the difficulty of people not feeling connected, perhaps, and feeling always at home and keeping that in mind. We wanted to make sure that we can have programs that range from small to large, you know, as we're slowly building, and that will give everybody a huge range of things. We have, you know, everything from sort of jazzy inspired things, new American styles, but also Baroque, and sort of finding out what makes a modern city and a modern symphony in that city so special. So the programming process has been with something in mind that is so dear to all of us, which is we want something that people can identify with and that represents them and that represents us as Milwaukeeans. All right, well, Ken, thank you again for joining us this morning.